was in the gym the other day working out and this guy comes up to me and says, hey man, I, I got a really weird question for you. How's it going everybody? Welcome to another Second Guy Message and thank you for checking out this video. Um, today I want to share a little, a really quick story with you. So I was in the gym the other day working out and this guy comes up to me and says, hey man, I, I got a really weird question for you. Were you on the Roommates podcast? Do you have your own YouTube channel or something like that? I said, yeah. And he said, man, I knew that was you with the Rock Lee t-shirt and the hair and everything. I knew that was you, man. I said, yeah, yeah, that's, that's me. And he introduced himself, his name's John, really cool guy, we had a good conversation. So after he left, uh, I thought to myself, man, that was really cool, you know, like, I didn't even know this guy, and he recognized me, and you know, we had a good conversation, it was really cool. And then I caught myself later, throughout that workout, I caught myself um, working out and, and, and constantly thinking to myself, okay, I can't take too much rest because because maybe John's watching and and if John's watching I don't want him to think I'm a fraud and I'm not, I'm not really living these things out like I say I am I want him to know that I'm really intense in these workouts that I'm really getting after it that I'm really putting forward my best effort and things like that and so uh, so I'm you know I'm making sure I'm not taking too much rest I'm making sure I'm going all the way up all the way down on every rep and then it dawned on me that I thought, you know, regardless of if John was watching or not, why, why don't I already have that mentality to do that anyway? I do strive for that level of intensity and trying to do things the right way even when no one's watching, but when you know someone might be watching, there is an extra gear that's always been there that we push ourselves to to really make sure that uh, we're doing everything that we, we can, that we're really giving 100%. So my challenge to you and myself is to be that person in the dark that you portray yourself as in the light. So the way you would act if you knew John was watching, get to a point where you're acting like that even in the dark. And the more you do that, the more that becomes who you really are. Because true character and who you really are is who you are in the dark when you don't think anyone's watching. Whether you're training physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, in whatever regard, whatever your goal is, go after it with the intensity that John's watching. And I don't mean that from a scare tactic standpoint or a motivated by pure fear standpoint, but the standpoint of, I know that if I know John's watching or someone is watching, I have another gear I can shift it to. Why not shift it to that gear from the beginning? And so that's my challenge to you. That's my challenge to me. And again, thank you for checking out this video. If there's anybody that you think needs to see this, feel free to share it with them. I appreciate every like, every comment, every share, every subscribe, and every view. So thank you again for everything that you guys are doing. Um, I really appreciate your support. And I hope to be putting out more content here this year that will add value to your life. I've got a, a, a really close friend of mine from college that's gonna be working with me with some YouTube short videos. They're gonna be some really quick 50 second or less videos that will usually be body weight stuff that anybody can do no matter if you're at home, if you're at the gym, or if you're at a field somewhere, you'll have access to some really quick, um, easy to do workouts that are challenging that will help your overall strength and endurance wherever you're at. So um, again, thank you for checking out this video. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And as always, have a good day.